Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Search for the Weekend. Today we're going to be making some rainbow daisy cupcakes. Okay, for this ones, I'm going to start cutting stripes of wax paper or parchment paper, like so. I have my stripes in here, so I'm just going to zoom it in so you can see what I'm going to be doing. Add a big dot in there, and then just going to drag this to the middle part. Take your time, and then I'm going to just let it crest. You do have to wait until this crests, but we're going to be working with other colors at the same time. I'm just going to leave a space in there. You're going to have to follow any precise order of sizes, but just so they look kind of even like so. And I'm going to let all of this guys crust. You know, if you apply all, all your petals, the five petals, all in once without letting them dry, the whole thing is going to be blending and you're not going to have the, you know, to the sort of effect. I'm going to go with my blue one. And then drag it in toward so it can meet the other one, like that. Going on the other side. And then meeting them in the middle part like so and i'm going to be making the same in all of them and i'm going to wait for it to dry this to have dried i'm going to place the fourth one in here kind of close to the, to the rest i'm going to drag it in and once this two are dry it's time for the last one, which is going to go here. And then drag it to the middle. You can add more to add more fluff into the um, daisy. And then just have to let it crest. And then at the final step, just add a bit of icing with no food coloring, which is going to be just white icing. I'm adding white because I feel like it's cleaner since we're just using so many colors but you can go ahead and add yellow as well in the middle or whatever color you feel like you know using the middle and just keep on doing it oh and i'm not really sure if i already mentioned it but i do have tutorial on this scribe tool and it's gonna be down below because it's on my channel right now so you can check it out if you don't have one or you just feel like experimenting a bit because it's homemade so these things are dry now we're going to go to one side first really carefully because they tend to break and then the other one and they should come right out and I would suggest you to make a bunch of them just in case some of them break and then we're just going to be taking our cupcakes and cream cheese frosting I'm working with both recipes that I did use on my last video link is going to be below and I'm just basically adding the frosting on the middle part of the cupcake and then just spreading it towards the edges. If you want to know more about that, just click on the link that I mentioned before. But this is just so you have a smooth and flat top. And then here comes the fun part, which is just placing those daisies. I'm just trying to pick all the colors of the rainbow per cupcake and just be as random as you want. doesn't really have to be any particular order. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. I just loved how this one turned. They are delicious, but just remember, since it's summertime, that frosting needs to be stored on the fridge to just avoid, you know, having all the frosting melting everywhere. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Check out my blog for some close-ups, and I'll talk to you later.